We'll guide you through how to fix Bluetooth not showing in your device manager on Windows. If you find this guide useful, consider subscribing and liking the video, and let's get into this. If you find that Bluetooth is missing from your device manager, then let's get into some fixes. So firstly, just go and open up the device manager. To do that, just go to the bottom of your computer, tap on search and type in device manager. Then what you want to do is go to the top and click on action. And what you want to do is click on scan for hardware changes. It's definitely worth doing that. Sometimes it will then go and find your Bluetooth and it will go and be added to the list. If that didn't work for you, then go and close off the device manager. And what we can do is try running a troubleshooter. So to do that, you come to the bottom of your computer and click on search and just type in troubleshoot like this and go and open it up. Once you're on the troubleshoot page, you then need to go and click on other troubleshooters and just wait for this to load and scroll down until you see Bluetooth and then you go over to the right and click on run and this get help page will open. Just wait for it to load and then all you want to do is go through here and answer the questions and Windows and Microsoft are going to help you identify the problem um, that you're having. So as you can see, it's going to go and ask you to do things like Windows updates and things like that. So it's a really good way of solving your problem. However, if after running that, the problem still isn't resolved, then what I recommend doing is fully shutting down your PC and then turning it back on. So to do that, you just go and click on the Windows Start button at the bottom, then go and click on the Power button, press on Shut Down, and just let your computer shut down for probably five to 10 seconds, maybe a bit longer, just make sure that it fully turns off, and then try turning it back on. That's often gonna go and resolve the problem, and then Bluetooth will just start showing in your device manager. For some reason, it wasn't being detected or was just glitching. The next thing I recommend doing is downloading Bluetooth drivers. So to do that, all you need to do is go and open up a web browser. I'll just use Chrome for this. And then what you want to do is type in Bluetooth Intel drivers, just like this and then make sure you go to the official Intel website. Once you're here, scroll down and select the version of Windows, and then just go and click on the latest package version, and then come down to here and make sure you go and get the right version for you. In this case, this top one's for Windows 10 and 11. Tap on download. I've already gone and um, read the agreement, so that's fine. It will then go and download. Wait for this to finish downloading. Every browser has different download places. So what I recommend doing is once it's finished, just closing off your browser and then open up your file explorer and go to your downloads. Here we are in my downloads folder. And then as you can see, here is the driver. So all you need to do is go and double click on it and just go through the installation process. It's super simple. If one of the methods in this video did go and fix your problem, then please go down below and consider leaving a like. 